Firstly, because it was up first and because it's shorter, um, I want to have a look at this. Now, what I love about it, and the, the reason why I asked for it to continue, is because there's so much, I would argue, the hardest part, that is, is right about this. Because what are quartiles again? What, what is a quartile? It's like, oh, that's a good question. It's the thing on the thingy. With the, it's like if you, you know, know. It's, it's the, the medium. medium. It's the medium. Okay, yeah, all right, so if you recall, right, if you've got a whole bunch of scores like that, right, we know what the median is. The median is whatever it is that divides the scores in half, right? And quartiles are just about doing it again, as the name suggests. You're not dividing into two sections, you're dividing into four, right? So what you're looking for is um, the median, and then you find the, the, the in-betweens of the medians, right? So you do get these one, two, three numbers. This is one of the things that used to confuse me. I was like, quartiles? Qu quart why are there three of them? And it's because we're talking about the dividers, right? So that's right. Secondly, uh, how many scores are there? There are eight scores, which means each of the um, sections that I'm going to divide up into, like, like this, each of them, if there are eight scores in total, should have two scores, two scores, two scores, and two scores. Okay? So you can see how this divides here, this divides here, this divides here. That's all looking good. You've also noticed, um, because those dividing lines, they don't fall on a score. They fall between scores. Do you notice that? So therefore, you've actually got to do something extra to find these. Uh, this 11, where does that come from? Can you see where it's come from? It's, um, it's 4 and 18, right? Which, if you add them, you get 22. And then you divide by 2, because you want the average of those two. And that, sure enough, gives you 11. Okay? Now, that's also correct. You have to do that. It's a lot of work to find quartiles. There's only one thing that's missing, and it's an easy thing. What's missing? We just need to reorder it. That's the only thing, and we just need to do that from the get-go, okay? So, can someone tell me, they've already ordered theirs, uh, what is the order of the scores? One, one, four, seven, eleven, yep. eleven, fifteen, yep. eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-nine? Cool, okay. So, once you've got the scores in order, you can take the same process and it's exactly right. So, it's these two scores, and you take the average, which is five and a half? Yeah. Yep, so that's the first quartile. Uh, you take, where am I up to? Uh, these two scores? These two? And so the average is 13? Yep. And then you take these two scores, and the average will be 19 and a half, right? So um, what do we say those numbers were? 5 and a half, 13, and 19 and a half. There you go. And those are the quartiles, okay? Uh, lower quartile, the median, and the upper quartile. So the process was exactly right. There's just one step, and it's a little one. I, I would argue it's an easy one that was just missed out. So I'm glad we reviewed that. Simultaneous equations. What do you think? No, thanks. No. Okay, so then comes the next important question, which is, ooh, what's gone wrong? Okay, because there's a lot of working here, which is very helpful, so we can dis dissect this. But, um... What's going on? Now, before I answer that question, who basically used this method? Like this strategy? Yeah? yeah. yeah? Okay, good. We'll see a lot of hands up. What's this called again? What's it? Okay. So you can see very helpfully, um, because the working shows us what he's doing. My goodness, those guys are pretty. Cockatoos. Sorry. Um, because the working helpfully tells us what it's doing, we know what method's been used. Wait, so is that right? Well, let's find out. Okay. So, I should say whichever method you use for simultaneous equations, one of the first things you've got to do is give your equations some names. Okay, and I assume most people have done that. And then we start to work with this. Now, have a look just at this line. Do you agree with this line? Yes. yes. X equals A plus 5Y. Are you happy with that? Mm -hmm. Cool. I do as well. What she's doing is she's changing the subject so that she can substitute it. So, so far, so good. Okay. Then we get to here. Alright, so we're going into equation one, that's this guy. Has the substitution gone right? Yep. Yep. Yes. Again, hopefully, not skipped any steps. You can see it's a direct substitution in there. Uh, that's just in place of x. There's a three of those, there's two of these, and there's seven. So far, so good. Uh, what's the name of the process from this line to this line? What's that called? Hmm. We have expanded, right? So if we went this way, it's factorizing, take out a factor of three. This way, Excuse me. Um, oh, I hate it when that happens. Anyway, never mind. It'll come to me in 10 seconds, but I'm not ready for it. Um, we've expanded. Is that the right expansion? Yes. Cool. 
okay? All right, from here to here. What's the intention of this? Okay, so there's actually a couple of things happening. Number one, the subtraction of 24 gets rid of the constant from this side, gets it over there, collects the like terms. And secondly, there's a collection of like terms here as well. Yes? Yes. So do we agree with this line? Yeah. yeah. That looks good? So then this is good? Yeah. So we've gone pretty far, right? Yeah. Okay. You sound so much shorter, it's real. <laughs> well, here's the thing, right? And, and this is why I do this all the time, even though you don't like me doing it. Yeah. If you come to me and say, is this right? And I just say to you, yes. Yeah. Like if your answer is correct, right? Then what you learn to do is attach your understanding of whether something is right or not on whether I tell you it is right or not. Or whether the textbook it's says it's a pretty it's right or not. reliable source. Um, <laughs> it's reliable, except for the fact that I'm not there at all the times it that it counts. So, reliable, but absent sometimes. So, let's have a look at this. We've come back to here. By the way, why was this the choice? Why this equation? It's easier. Because rather than this one, like, gross, there's a 3 there. I don't want to do that. This is good. I'd actually argue there's probably one place slightly better than this to put it into. Where else could I put it in? I could probably have put it into here, right? Because x is already the subject. So I, I would have gotten out in the same number of, um, same number of says maybe a bit quicker. So let's have a look. Does the substitution look good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think so. Yeah, yeah there it is. Uh, what's that? Double negative? Yes. Yeah. So then, what's this about? Why is she doing that? She, she doesn't want the x with stuff. She wants the x alone. She wants the subject, right? So she subtracts 5, and that's what she gets. Yes? No? Yes. That's what I got. Yeah, that's what I got as well. So. so, if we went all the way through, let's have a look. Um, Negative one and three. Oh, yeah, negative one and three? Yeah. Uh, three, take away five lots of negative one. Three plus five <laughs> is eight. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what, what was I doing? X equals three. three. So nine plus two lots of negative one is nine minus two, which is seven. Happy? Yeah. Maths. Good job. Question. So I did that. I got it right. Why was I so confused doing that though? Um, it's a confusing process. I felt like I was doing it very wrong. Does your working look like this? Yeah, I did that exactly that. I think it's flawless. Yeah. Then why was I really double guessing that? Yes, you can. Um, you know, the last time we were going through um, baking, like two pretty rolls of um, what do you mean by making them the same? Like to make it easier. Like, so that you can eliminate? Is that yeah. what you're talking about? Yes, 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 yes. You could. Um, if, um, let me pose this question to all of you. Shh, shh, shh. Just pedal back a little bit. Right at the beginning of when we were solving this question, we identified that Laura had done it by substitution. Of course, that's one of the methods that we have. What's the other one? Elimination is the other one. Now, if we wanted to, how would we take the original two equations and use them? If we wanted to do elimination, what would we do? So um, you've got to look at, okay, which variable can I eliminate, hence the name, right? I'm either going to get rid of the x's or I'm going to get rid of the y's, okay? Now in order to do that, I need the same number of x's in both equations or the same number of y's in both equations. Either one is fine, just you've got to choose, okay? Now if I want the same number of y's, have a look, see how there's 2 here and there's 5 here? What I'd have to do is I'd have to multiply this equation by 5, whatever, whatever, there will be 10y. Then I have to multiply this equation, not by 5, but by 2. Um, I could do minus 2, but I don't need to, because that will be whatever, whatever, minus 10y. Does that make sense? There will be a 10y here, a minus 10y there, and you just add them, and they'll eliminate. Okay? Now, I could do that. If I wanted to go with the x's instead of the y's, or rather, if I wanted to eliminate the x's rather than the y's, what would I do? The second equation, right here, I just need to multiply this by 3 in order to have it match, right? So which one would I choose? I would choose to get rid of the x's because I only have to multiply one equation, 
not to, okay? So it's sort of a matter of indifference, really. If instead of this operation here, which is the substitution way, if I'd said equation two, multiply it by three, uh, 3x minus 15y equals 24, let's call that 2a instead of this, um, it would have been fine. I think it would have worked out much the same in terms of its length. Um, sometimes a question isn't obviously done better by substitution or elimination, so you just kind of go for it, unless they ask you to do it this way or that way. Okay. Any other questions? Well done. That was not easy. Um, and it does, like, you, you look at it and you think, wait, what, what have I done? Did I get it right? Some of these numbers, maybe you were talking about being confused. 17, that's a weird number to come up in something, like it doesn't look like, but you know what? <laughs> this is quite astonishing, because you guys know, well, I don't know if you do know, I tend to make these up, like I just stand here and then I just make them up. So it's somewhat a coincidence that these are not like, I actually expected messier like fractions and weird numbers and that kind of thing, but that's really cool, I should write that one down.